photos and everything. Mickey, 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 I'm not supposed to. me and today I thought I'd do another day in the life vlog because I have a jam-packed day filled with lots of things hopefully doing some jumping with Casper first thing need to clean out the chickens and also give the donkeys a bit of a groom because they have a very exciting photo shoot this afternoon but before we get started I have something very exciting here we have two brand new Voltaire design saddles there's only two of them in the country right now and they very kindly let them borrow them for today's video to give you guys a little bit of an exclusive a little bit of a sneak peek um, so they have the brand new essentials range which is launching very soon I've just got them for today only to give them a little try and a little bit of a test because uh, they do have to go back to Voltaire because they need them for the show at Bowlsworth but anyway would you guys like a little saddle reveal of course you do so here they are do 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 Okay, so this is the double flap. As you can see, two flaps. And then if we move over to the other, <laughs> we have the mono flap, I believe. Oh, so pretty. So here they are. This is the brand new Voltaire Design Essentials range, which is super exciting because as you guys know, I'm really lucky to be a Voltaire Design sponsored rider. Um, one of the most important things when you buy a horse is having a saddle that fits your horse really well and is high quality. Um, so something I love about the Essentials range um, that Voltaire Design have done is that they've made it more affordable, but it still has the Voltaire Design um, performance, comfort, and stability um, so anyway the plan for today is to um, do some jumping with Casper take him for a bit of a spin in one of these I've got to choose between um, the double flap and the mono flap I think I'm gonna go for the mono flap just because um, Casper's in a double flap at the moment he's in the Stuttgart um, so I feel like this will be quite fun so uh, I'm gonna go and grab Casper now and he can be our little demo pony <laughs> all right so Casper is not looking his best he has a massive poo patch on his neck where obviously he's used his poo as a pillow, which is not great when um, he's supposed to be clean for getting some lovely footage of him today. So I'm gonna have to give him a bit of a wash. He all, his tail is also absolutely filthy. Luckily, he's only dirty on one side. Uh, so I'm gonna give him a bit of a wash and I'll hopefully be back with you guys when he is clean. Oh, Caspi, what have you done? Yeah, you look half asleep. You look like you're not quite up for some jumping today. You awake? Gonna wake up later? You just can't put a brand new saddle on a dirty horse. Not good. <laughs> I'll wait to see your golden smile Feel of a thousand kisses Oh, please stay So Casper is now clean, so it's time to put on the new saddle, give it a spin, give it a try. Let's make sure this is all nice and comfortable for him. Can fit a good amount of fingers under there. Lovely. I'll just pop that through. All right, so how amazing does the new saddle look on Casper? I think it looks very cute. Obviously, we only have it for the day, um, so I'm very excited to jump in it and test it out. But something about the Essential range um, that I think is really good is that they actually have 
and adjustable gullet head plates. So this means that, for example, horses like Joey, that's very young, they change shape a lot. Um, you can adjust it that way. Or maybe you're on a big busy yard with lots of different horses and um, or maybe you buy and sell a lot of project ponies or horses. This would be really good because then you can um, really easily adjust the saddle for the horse. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's looking very cute. I need to grab my stirrups because obviously I don't particularly want to ride without stirrups today. Um, although I think it would be very good for me. I haven't done that for a while. Um, so I'm going to grab my stirrups put on Casper's jumping boots and his bridle and I'll see you guys when we're riding. Testing it out, hey? You excited? You're looking a lot cleaner now. You were looking absolutely filthy earlier, but you're looking beautiful, hey? Beautiful model horse. Yeah, you can do some saddle modeling, yeah. If I could only Fly so high, I would kiss the sky. It'd be so, so right, so right, so right. If I could only fly, I would fly so high. I would kiss the sky. It'd be so, so right, so right. I have just finished jumping Casper and oh my goodness this boy was on fire he was so good he was super up for it as well he was so speedy um, so actually the other day he had his 15th birthday so he's now a veteran pony so I'm not jumping him as much as I like used to in the past because obviously he's getting a little bit older now I want to save his legs but today I thought you know what we're filming a video we're trying out the new saddle put the jumps up a little bit pushed him and we jumped around like a 95 meter course so I was so proud of him he did so well he tried so hard guys also in the new saddle i felt so comfortable and so secure as well so that was really good i'm actually kind of sad that i have to give the saddle back at the end of the day um so if you guys would like to check it out i'll leave a link in the description below you can buy it straight online or you can buy it through a voltaire design saddle specialist um so thanks voltaire design for letting me borrow this for the day so i think this boy here because casper has been so good it's time to Put him away, untack him, and give him a lot of treats. Well done, Caspi. Good boy. Should we take you in? Come on in. Let's pop you back. All right, guys, I'm now here with the donkeys and it's time to give them a little bit of a groom. It's currently molting season or shedding season. So all of their hair is molting out or shedding out. Um, the donkeys are looking a little bit patchy at the moment because unlike horses, donkeys, when they um, shed, they shed in weird patches. So they have some ball patches. Also, the birds really like to pick out all of the hair that's falling out and use it for their nests. So I apologize in advance if they're not looking their best today because um, it's just donkeys just don't look very pretty during molting season. I'm sorry guys, I don't want to be rude, but it is the truth. So um, I'm gonna do my best to try and help these guys out, remove some of the fluff. Hey Bruno, so this is just my shedding blade again. It's nice and soft. Well, not soft, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt them or anything like that. It's nice and very good for getting out all of the, all of the fluffy stuff. You know, it's not sharp. There we go. These guys always fall asleep when I groom them. It's like their favorite thing. Look how much from just like a few strokes I've got on Bruno's back. Oh my goodness, all this fluff. Wow, okay, I will be back with you guys when the donkeys are hopefully a little bit less fluffy like this. <laughs>
you guys can see Willow here is a little bit patchy at the moment. She has this thick bit here where she still has her winter coat, but her beautiful, gorgeous summer coat is coming through, especially here. It looks so pretty. So hopefully by the end of the summer, these guys will be looking absolutely gorgeous. But right now, you're a little patchy, aren't you? I think right now it's just about to start raining, hence why I put my jacket on. So once I have finished giving these guys a groom, I'm gonna put their rugs on. So hopefully they stay a little bit dry for the photo shoot this afternoon. Mr. Bruno, are you coming in here interrupting again? Hey, you've already had your big groom. Oh, you've got a bit of an eye gunk here. Do you want to get that out for you? There we go. Good man. Oh, see, now I'm grooming you. It's Wello's turn at the moment. Good girl. I'll get your, get your ruggies. All right, so I'm just putting on Bruno's super cute high equestrian rug right now because um, donkeys, their coats aren't as waterproof as horses. You know, they're sort of desert animals. They're used to being in a very dusty and um, dry climate. But over here in England, it gets quite wet, so you have to make sure that your donkeys have shelter or they have a rug. So I'm gonna rug them up. They do have shelter as well, but um, they'll also be looking very cute for the photo shoot as well in their new rugs. So I'm just gonna do that up. I think Willow over here is very interested in the camera. She's wanting to say hi. Hey. Very interesting. Okay, let's do your buckle. Bruno, I'm not done yet. He's zooming off. Okay, bye. So if you guys ever wondered what size rugs the donkeys wear, they wear four foot three, which is very small, very tiny. I think they do even smaller sizes for like miniature Shetlands and things, but these rugs fit them so nicely. Okay, let's pop this on you, Mr. Toby. Well, you can't eat the packaging. No. Willie. you can't eat it. All right, so there is quite a lot of fluff here, which is actually quite good because at the moment the birds are nesting. So I reckon by tomorrow, this will probably be mostly gone because the birds will be using it for their nests. Hello, Toby, would you like to come and join me? Yeah. Um, so anyway, the donkeys are now all looking beautiful after their groom. They've got their new rugs on, so they're all ready for the photos this afternoon. So I think next I'm going to go and grab some lunch because I'm getting pretty hungry. I also need to clean the chickens out, so hopefully I'll get that done as well today too. But anyway, donks, I will see you later. Okay, bye guys. Bye. All right, so it's now chicken cleaning out time. I have some corn here for them, so hopefully they'll come over. They love this muddy patch here. They're probably quite full actually, because it's just been lunchtime, so they've had a few little snacks. But they can have some corn. They love this, yeah, they love this muddy bit because um, recently we've actually had quite a lot of rain, so it's a bit more of wet mud. But when it's all dusty, they love doing like dust baths in here. There's a little hole here where they love going down in. So now it's time to um, clean them out, so I have my lovely yellow glove or marigold on. Um, I only have one because I don't really know where the other's gone, but um, yeah, this is what I used to clean the chickens out with. Very interesting. All right, so as you can see, they like to only poo in one little patch, which is a lot easier for me when it comes to cleaning out. So I'll just grab some of that. I don't think they need any more or new shavings today because they've got quite a bit. There we go. Get that last little bit, get that little bit of a move around. Oh, is there any bits in here? Oh, just one bit. There we go. Now it's time to do the egg box. Oh, wow. Lots of eggies today. Grab them. As you can see, they do like to all lay their eggs in one little bit. So now it's time to uh, get all the little poopies out. Once a week, I like to get them brand new, brand new nest. All right, so looking at the big dark cloud behind me, I think it's gonna rain any minute now. So I'm gonna go and put the eggs in the house, give them a wash, uh, check up on the horses, make sure they're all good with it gonna be raining very shortly, maybe even storming. I don't know, but I will see you guys in a little bit. 
All right, guys, so the reason why the donkeys had to be groomed and have their new rugs on and look nice and put together is because we had some visitors from the Brook charity. So the CEO came over, met all the donkeys and the horses, and they also filmed a lot of pieces to camera for Brook as well. So here we have the cameraman, we have Kylie, and then we also have Sandra over here with Bruno and Toby helping me make sure that they wouldn't get in the way when we were filming. Um, so here, Willow was... Um, doing the piece to camera because she was very good at standing still however I can't quite say the same for Bruno and Toby and here for some reason Bruno decided that he wanted to stand right in front of the camera so I quickly had to run and move him out the way so we had to do that one again also in one of the pieces to camera Willow decided to put her ear right in the way so again had to redo that one and then lastly we did some with Casper and Casper was in a funny mood today he really was being a practical joker and the whole time he knew exactly what he was doing he was trying to mess up the filming together <laughs> i wanted to personally give my thanks to everyone who supported our emergency appeal for india oh, okay <laughs> be nice and whining communities and an improvement in animal disease detection and surveillance. <laughs> Look at the state of my shirt. Okay, in your own time. Hello, I'm Chris Wainwright, Chief Executive of Brook. <laughs> Hello. I'm Chris Wainwright. <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't want me to do it. Alright guys, so the team from Brooke have now left. I'm here with Mickey because we're going to do a few photos of him in his new high equestrian rug because obviously I want him to be looking nice and pretty and the rug not being covered in mud. Uh, while well, we take the photos, so he hasn't actually tried it on yet. Yes, so that is going to be very exciting. I've given him a quick groom, so hopefully he's not too dirty. Um, but yeah, it's time to go get his rug, get him looking nice, and be a little model pony, hey? Good boy. I'm um, sorry, little dude, but it's nostril cleaning. Good man. I know. Oh, I know. I know. Your pink nose, I don't know how you get so much dirt up there. Yes. Oh, so final touch ups. Hey Mix, is this your new rug? Oh, no, more interested in the haylage. So yeah, this is in the competition ready print by High Equestrian and oh my goodness, this is probably one of my favorite prints. It's just so adorable. Like, look at that. It's got loads of little ponies on. Let's open this up. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna have to undo this and buckles. Oh no, it's gonna get dirty on the floor. This is, this is not a good way of doing it, guys. Okay, you ready, Mick? There we go! Oh, this colour on Mickey is so cute. Oh, I love it! Alright, just doing up the buckles. I love the contrast of the yellow with the green. It just really pops. So cute. I think all the, all the horses have little like matchy-matchy sets on as well. That's so cute. Alright. Mickey is looking so cute in his new rug, so now it's finally time to get some photos. Yeah, and show off your new outfit. Look at that. So adorable. So cute. I'll wait to see your golden smile. Feel of a thousand kisses. Oh, please stay. Feels like a handful of silk now 
today's vlog off here. Mickey looked absolutely adorable in his new rug. I hope you enjoyed the photos and everything. Mickey, 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 you're not supposed to be in here. Okay, calm. You're okay. Okay, let's come out now. You're not supposed to be in there. No. Okay, come on, good boy. Okay, guys. Joey, <laughs> you want in on the action. Uh, so anyway, guys, I think we are going to finish today's video off here with a little escaping pony. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. Yes, you want to go. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mix, what was all that? Hey, you just want the haylage now? See, there's no food in the storeroom apart from haylage, but it's wrapped up. So, because you couldn't quite get that.